Hello to my beautiful friends and welcome to a new video. I just got back from PAX East. Actually, I rested for a day since I flew back into my home city at like midnight or one in the morning. And I just got done streaming Happy Home Designer on Twitch, which if you don't watch me on Twitch, check the link. It'll be over there and coming out. Um, I'll be streaming in two day when you'll see this video. But what I wanted to do is I know that I haphazardly update or uploaded some PAX East footage um, when I got to do the Animal Crossing experience and I didn't get to really tell you guys what I thought about it. So I wanted to go through the footage and give you guys some commentary. So this video is for anybody who really wants to hear my opinions about what I experienced during PAX East. Also, I wanted to show you guys the swag that I got. I know I posted it on Twitter, but I got my Isabel pin. I had to stand um, a little bit of a line for this. It wasn't bad the first day, but after that it got really, really long and it was impossible to get another one. And then I got this Animal Crossing bag with Tom Nook and his little nephews on it. And um, on the back it just has the logo. So um, I greatly appreciate the ability to have gotten these items. I know people are selling them on eBay for insane prices. Um, I tried to get one for a giveaway, but I didn't have much luck getting in line again. So I've just got those for now, but I'll let you guys know if anything changes in the near future. But let us begin by going through this footage. There's a lot of me filming the set when I first started. So let's take a look. So here was the booth area. This was when we were in line. We got media passes um, due to being media through YouTube and we were able to get into this Animal Crossing line and be the very first group of people who went through and got to try the demo. So this is when we were excitedly waiting in line and staring at all the demo screens being set up and I was so excited. It was really crazy. Here's us all pointing to everything. The representative says these, these cute little shirts on with these leaves from New Horizons, just like Nook wears. It was so cool. And they had sanitizer because we don't want to get sick. They were testing out the demo before they let us in there to play it. Some people said that the trees looked blue. That is just the way that it looks on my phone from recording the video. I promise you that the trees are indeed green. They are not blue. <laughs> Some people in the comments got confused. Um, but yeah, they're experimenting a little bit to get it set up, so I filmed some a little bit inside the shop. This hat is so stinking cute. Everything's cute. I'm gonna say things are adorable or cute many times during this video, so I do apologize. And there's me. <laughs> there's me. I, I filmed the carpet to show you guys that the triangle pattern is all that we've seen so far in the demo as well as in the commercials. So I do not know if triangle is all we get. Let me know in the comments if you've seen other patterns of uh, grass in the game. But that's all I've seen so far. And that's what they had on the ground. There's the Dodo Airline sign they had on the booth, which was very, very cool. Then I walked around a bit, people staring, <laughs> trying not to get in the way of my filming. They had a little crafting table set up that you could play with the tools on it, which was really nice. Everybody wanted to like pick stuff up. They put this together, I think most of the pieces they put together there, but they may have built the tree in the house off site. But I saw them painting things the day before PAX. This was super cool. They had a hanging from the ceiling. So from all the way across the PAX East Expo Hall, you could see where you needed to go to get to the Nintendo booth. It was really nice. And the fire, oh my gosh, I blocked it right there we go. Um, they had this cool little fake fire with this like tissue or fabric blowing. It was really cute. A little campfire and these little rocks. I don't know if those rocks were speakers. I think they were, but I was too excited. So they had these projectors up um, on the ceiling, I believe, and they were bringing down uh, or shining down a light to create this pattern here, which was so cool. I think that's how they did it. I believe. I believe. Somebody can let me know if they know the science behind it. Um, there was Game Explained filming as well. I tagged along with them to uh, get some footage. This waterfall was so pretty and the trees, oh my gosh. The only thing funny was the flowers because you can obviously see there some flake flowers just kind of 
stuck into um, some little holders, but everything else looked really cool. The flowers were a little cute janky, but they were just the right amount of janky, so it was okay. I liked it. Everything was so colorful. There's the water again. Um, they had these tools that you could pick up and take photos in front of a tent or with Tom Nook, Isabel, or KK Slider. When I was there, it was just Tom Nook. Um, Isabel and KK eluded me, so I didn't get to meet them. So, But I did get to meet Nook, which was really cool. There's a tree stump. There's some of the tools, the very archaic tools you get at the beginning of the game. I touched the stump. There's the little tent. You could not go inside. There's me. <laughs> Hi, Fuji from the past. I just walked on a rock and I was like, okay, is this cool? Okay, cool. <laughs> and I put that in the video. Oh, there is Nook. I was so excited at this part. I want a loan so bad. Look at him. Oh my God, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> I was really excited. That guy in the red looked at me so weird because I was, I was like squealing like a small child. I know. I was really, really happy to be there. Oh my gosh. All the staff was super nice too. They would like hold your camera and take pictures for you. They're really friendly. Okay, so this is where I got to start the demo. So it was me and then um, Failboat, who I met during the convention, um, is the one playing over here. And then we have our uh, rep is there. And then Aunt Dude is the one filming. So as far as this demo goes, we were supposed to have somebody holding the fourth controller. But because of the chaos that is PAX East, you will see one little character just whoop, reappear and disappear and not be like moving properly on the screen and that's because no one is controlling him so he's just teleporting um i control the little bucktooth dude right here and i think failboat was the girl with the bangs um but yes this is our demo experience um and then yeah the little <laughs> that guy <laughs> is controlled by no one um and this is our instructor who is walking us through um, so basically, when we first started playing, they were showing us the different tools that we could do. Um, my rep didn't have a complete understanding of which buttons did what. Um, they said that they were trained on Joy-Cons, not on Pro Controllers, so he wasn't entirely sure, which is totally okay. Um, and we were also the first people that he was teaching how to do this at PAX East. So I just dug up, so I dug up some bells. I was trying to figure out the buttons. Um, eventually we got it, but I was trying to listen to him as well. And something interesting is this is the local co-op play. I will say one thing. After trying this experience, I will say local co-op, where you're all playing on the same system, is not going to be my favorite way to play. Um, when you are the leader in local co-op, you're able to open your inventory, talk to animals, do all the normal things you would usually do. If you are one of these side players, you can't pick up items. Um, you can't, if you catch a bug, it doesn't go in your inventory. You don't actually have an inventory. You just have tools that you can use. Um, you can't talk to NPCs if you're one of these side characters. Um, and there's, there's a lot of restrictions. So I must admit, I think online it will be a lot better because everyone has their own screen, they've got their items, all that sort of thing. So switching in between the leader and the side characters isn't necessarily the most fun process. I'd say that would be my only real um, criticism so far at this point. And you'll see the camera shift from Failbolt's shoulder to mine, because we got this footage to actually share with him as well so he can use it on his channel too. So we want to be fair and also include his shoulders and not just my shoulders. <laughs> but uh, we went to the beach and we were dropping things and trying to see how that worked out. I <laughs> kept trying to use an ax on people. I finally got to be the leader and I was really excited about that because I wanted to adventure a little further. And I was trying to rock, walk this way and then I got stopped because there were some items there and for some reason I couldn't walk to the right and I was like, hey, I can't go that way. And he's like, oh, you should be able to. And I'm like, no, I can't because of him. And I was trying to, <laughs> to, to, to blame the rando who wasn't moving around, but I guess I just got stuck in some items. So then we kept going up to the north. Let's see, where did we go? Oh, we went down here to look at all the different things. We've got flamingos. We, um, in Happy Home Designer, um, tonight, but for you, it's gonna be 
yesterday, we put some pink flamingos inside of um, Beardo's house, and they looked really nice. I was experimenting picking up things. You can pick up the workbench and put it wherever you want, like normal furniture, or you can use it like it's a creation menu. There's also a, a way that you can chat and type text, just like you could in a new leaf. But I could see more people using like Discord or the Nintendo app on their phone than typing on their Switch. We got a little bit of a preview of the crafting menu. There wasn't really anything in there that we had not yet experienced. So don't worry, you're not really missing anything there. We got to walk along the beach. Um, something cool is seeing the idle animations that the villagers do or lack thereof when they go to sleep. So we got to see that. Guy just kind of chilling, going to sleepy sleeps. There's this little item here with these flowers, which is very nice. There we go. And I'm still the, the leader looking up there, trying to figure out where we should go next. Here we go. If there's any hiccups in the video, I apologize. I was amazed I was able to upload this footage on the Expo Hall internet because it was so bad. It was really, really slow. It said it was gonna take three hours to upload and from my phone, and I was like, no, it's too long. So, there's me, there's me. I ran up to the media room and used their Wi-Fi. <gasps> Here's where we went into Bianca's house. Your first look. So the text on the screen is so smooth. Smooth and buttery, it's like perfect. The text is beautiful. It's nice and bold, it's easy to read. I'm so happy. I should be able to play this game in bed without my fail boat starting to dance <laughs> in the corner. So we did uh, some, you can do, really easy to change the camera angles once you get inside of a house, like just rotate away. This video does not do the screen justice. Like the textures of the floor and the wood and the furniture is gorgeous. It looks really, really good. Like legitimately go play New Leaf and then play this game. And I thought she was bowing. I thought Bianca was bowing in the doorway to say hi to everyone who was coming in. But I think she was just doing aerobics in her doorway. Also, there's a vacuum cleaner over here. I just noticed. This is, it's so cute. Everything, the inside of the homes is beautiful. I've seen other people's videos um, from houses they went into during their demo. Also, she said she totes. She said she totes plays music. So they were trying to do really hip lingo in this game, which I think is great. You see a little ant dude filming back there. Let's see, where else did we go? We got more glowy spots. Now, one thing I wish we had had is, um, I didn't have, we were able to use emotions. There were a couple of them, but I didn't have a pull for jumping over anything during this demo. Some people did, but I, I didn't have one. So I didn't get to do any of that kind of stuff. And we kept switching control of um, like who was the leader and everything like that. Now Failboat's the leader. So we're seeing where he wants to go what he wanted to explore. I think he was trying to play the piano. <laughs> we, it's, it's one of those things. You have goals in your head of what you want to see when you play the demo, but then you get in the moment and you get really excited or you have to take turns with other people. So you can't necessarily control where the whole demo goes. Um, so we, we took turns. There's, there's Harvey, there's Harvey. So something really neat, um, Harvey, at some point in somebody else's demo I saw, talks about an island that he has. So I'm assuming that Harvey doesn't live here, but he may live somewhere else. But that's all I know. But I saw somebody reference that, that Harvey has his own island that you can maybe visit at some point. See, he had the pole. I didn't have the pole, so I didn't get to jump. I haven't, I haven't jumped, you guys. I don't have the pole. I'm so sad. What's nice though we noticed is running through flowers didn't seem to be such a bad thing because none of the flowers busted, um, which is fantastic. So run through the flowers all you want. So far, from what I've seen, it doesn't look like it messes them up. We see a second level there. We, <laughs> Philbo got bees. <laughs> He was trying, his face got all messed up. He was very, he was very, uh, very sad. Very sad, Failboat. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was secretly hoping we'd find bees because I feel like my luck is always, is always bees. That's my life. Every time I play the game, you can see the glistening of the water, picking up the monies. 
<laughs> the shaky camera going through a, a nice clover field experience here um now i will say that our <laughs> our representative like i said didn't have a full understanding of the buttons so when it came for us to ask oh, how do you do this again or or what do you press for this he didn't really know so sometimes you'll see us just pressing random buttons and that's what we're doing trying to figure it out because when you're the leader versus when you are a random uh, player who's not the leader in local multiplayer in the same town on one console, the buttons change. So one button will be for a tool and then another button will be to use a tool. So it is a little confusing. Um, so we did run into that when we were playing. The expressions were cute. Very cute. We did learn later, not in this, that the expressions you will get by interacting with the villagers, that's one way you'll get expressions. Um, so I think that's really cute that you learn them from your friends because that's the way it was in Happy Home Designer. When you completed houses, you would unlock expressions from those animals. So I like that feature. We've got butterflies everywhere. Then I was leader and I was like, all right guys, I'm gonna go places. I was like, I'm gonna film stuff for you guys who are watching right now. I wanted to see everything I could see. So I was like, all right guys, I'm gonna run. And they were like, that's fine, that's okay. So I was just booking it. I found out you could hold down a button and uh, and go pretty fast. Failboat's trying to hit me with his net. He's like, you're running, you're running, what are you doing? <laughs> he didn't mind though, he was really, really nice. Super nice dude, did not care. Let's see. Trying to look at our different items. The representative mentioned how we could dig up like mollusks at the beach. There's one back there. And I got it, yay! A manila clam. Manila is my favorite flavor of clam. Do you get it? Manila? Vanilla? The bad puns are still here, which I'm happy about. The bad puns are my favorite part. You can see <laughs> the uncontrolled character just keeps teleporting. You see him off in the distance and then there we go. <laughs> he has the craziest eyes, so he kind of became a joke for us because he just, he looks so suspicious just with big eyes. He was pointing to him. He's just like, it's going to be all right, guys. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's where we went. Let's see, where did we go next? The other guy can jump over the water. I'm so jealous. And it still brought him back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Anthony controlling the mic. This is the most unprofessional footage, but I'm so, so thankful that we got it. Even though it's a little, it's a little bit crazy. Okay, so here we are going into the Abel sisters. He was really excited. I was really excited too, uh, to be able to see all the different outfits. So something someone confirmed for me later is that you can put like custom designs up here. I believe this is where, because people were wondering where the custom designs are going to go. Um, I saw someone else selected these during their demo, and that's where you can put your custom designs. So you can try on clothing out here if you want to by clicking on the display pieces, but a better way of doing it is actually going into the changing room, and you'll see that in just a second. I, I enjoyed that a lot more. There's mannequins that are dressed up. I just, I love all the different clothing items and how there are so much to choose from each day. Um, we're no more ne nowhere near as limited as we were with New Leaf. So here's where we can go. I wanted to make sure I was allowed to go, so I did ask the rep, because he said there were some things that we weren't allowed to do, and he would let us know. So here is the clothing menu. There were so many different items. So what it does is it'll give you color variations of whatever's on sale that day. So these aren't all the clothes, it's just all the clothes for that specific day. And you have to purchase each color variation separately. So I was trying to come up with like a bear design for this guy. Um, so I ended up doing the buns cause they looked like, like teddy bear ears. And I <laughs> look back. And then I did the sparkly glasses and like the fuzzy boots. Um, cause I thought that that just looked perfect. It was really good, really good. <laughs> And I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Oh my gosh. My character looks so cute. And he was asking how to do the expressions. So I was walking him through that process. Matthias, come here, kitty. He's playing with the door. Good boy. I know. I hear you, Matthias. He's my tabby. If you come to streams, you can see me give him snacks sometimes. 
So we went outside and I think I had asked Failboat if he wanted to try on some clothes. You shake the controller to switch leader. So if you see us go and whoever presses A then gets to be the leader. So he was trying to figure out how to <laughs> how to get in the door. <laughs> Didn't quite know how to get in the door. Oh, poor thing. And I think we, we mentioned that we were then going to go to the museum instead because the guy said we only had a couple minutes and we knew what we wanted to do. So we put our representative in charge so we could run to the museum at the speed of light because we completely forgot about it. I think, I think Anthony had mentioned it because I got so into the demo, I forgot I was supposed to be like recording cool stuff for people to watch. Um... So yeah, he ran us to the ran us to the museum and he's like, yeah, you got a couple minutes so we can do this. So he took us inside and he showed us uh, the lathers, which is, he's still super ridiculously adorable. As always, his patterns look so nice. So once again, this recording does not do the museum justice. Everything is beautiful and bright, incredibly colorful. The ambience is just absolutely lovely. You can see the patterning of the tree branches on the ground and the shadows and everything. If you hear some noises, it's my kitty playing with a toy over there, being a naughty boy. Um, but he was running us through the museum super fast because they said we were going to have to go soon. And I didn't want to end the demo without having this part of the experience. There we go. So there's all of these different tanks and the, the fish are mixed in with like the other animals. You can see we would put the ants there. So this area, he said, <laughs> he said something to the effect that butterflies would go in here. So I don't know if he was being figurative, like, oh, and use your imagination. Or if literally we collect butterflies, they live here and then they live in the garden once we unlock that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but there was, <laughs> he's really, <laughs> he's really excited. Um, so he led us around there. We go into the next part of the museum. We were getting real hyped towards the end, trying to do it as quick as possible. So he brought us back out. We went down these little steppy steps. There he goes, running, running, running. And you can really make people teleport in and out and just do whatever you want if you're the leader. Like no, no other player has control in where they go when that happens. So we've got steps up there. He never showed us what was up the steps. So far, I haven't seen anything. So I'm assuming it's some kind of expansion. Um, I also did not see artwork during this demo. Some people were asking about artwork or deep sea creatures or things like that. Um, I didn't see anything. So I'm curious if they're gonna be added later. Um, I hope so, because scuba diving was really fun, but I wonder if they're not going to do it because it's an island. I don't know. I hope we can go in the water, but we're going to find out. And then for the last bit, oh, it's so gorgeous. I really like fish. Like, I am obsessed with fish. So this was the most beautiful thing. Look at that. Look at the tanks. Our, our reps seem to be most interested in the fish as well. Yeah, we've got freshwater and saltwater fish separated based on their ecosystem, which is so cool. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful, so beautiful. And then the last place he took us was into the deep sea area. There's a shark in there. And it's gonna be so fun to explore with friends because you can go down there, but you can also go up to the very top and there are these little windows that you can look through, which would be great selfie opportunity or screenshots. Like, look, you can put a person in each window. And we were being funny because we realized that the one guy who wasn't controlled with a controller wasn't perfectly in the window. So we decided to like push him in a window <laughs> and take pictures. Our rep is taking photos here. So he, sh he showed us the, the photo mode. And I was like, oh, look, he's in there, but he's not perfectly in the center. He looks creepy. <laughs> so we're pushing him around, <laughs> which is really funny. I, I want to do the cute eyes on my character, but also it makes me want to do psychotic eyes. So I might make like a guy character with crazy eyes. Like, there we go and put him, put him in the second. We're trying to push him around. <laughs> So yes, you can push your friends around in this game, which is really funny. There we go. There we got him. There's me smiling in the corner.
So, oh, the shark looks so cool. So he was taking lots of uh, screenshots and showing us the cinematic mode. We couldn't mess around in it too much because they said we weren't supposed to, but we got to see enough of that, which is nice. I am prepared to see everybody's crazy screenshots um, come March. So much excitement. And uh, there we, there we go. That is uh, pretty much all we got to experience of this area. And we got to, he was trying to show us some more. We got really excited. And then we got told that we had to stop. And we were very, we were very sad. Oh, so sad. So sad. But it's okay. After we finished the demo, um, he had us clap because we were the first people to try it. So, yay. <laughs> so we did. Peace sign. It was really nice. So yeah, we worked it out toward the end. I know he was nervous when he first showed us the demo because we were the first group, but then he totally did it. And then I touched an apple and I thought that that was the perfect way to end that video. Um, and there's all of my <laughs> recommended videos. Um, but yeah, so this was a super cool experience. Um, it was amazing to get to play this demo. I know that there were a lot of people who wanted who want a demo to be released so that they can see this game. I don't see it happening. I think they're just going to drop the game because they know everybody wants it. Um, as far as my opinions about the demo, I great. I, okay. I discussed it a lot with friends over the weekend, and I feel like Animal Crossing is one of those games that you have to experience alone. Um, or with friends in the comfort of your own, uh, your own home. Basically, being able to do whatever you want, you know, have a cup of coffee or cocoa and relax. And so as far as it demoing, um, I know that the demo experience is going to be very different than my experience when I'm playing it with friends and doing what I want and things like that and getting to make my own decisions. I am... This is... I don't think this has... Um, altered my excitement for the game. I think I'm just as excited for Animal Crossing as I was before I experienced this. Um, I cannot wait for this game to come out. I think it's going to be a really great thing for a lot of people, a lot of us who especially like to stream and hang out and talk with people. It's going to be so positive. Um, as far as my opinions go, the game looks beautiful. It runs really smooth. My only critique and it could just be based on the fact that, you know, this was demoed with a large group of people and it was really crazy and hectic, but the local multiplayer using a single Switch console, I think could use some improvement. Um, having one person as the leader who can do all the stuff and then three other players who can't talk to animals, can't pick up items, can't donate to the museum, can't um, access their inventory, things like that. Um, I do think that that could use some adjustments. It is really easy to switch to another leader by shaking your pro controller and having them press the A button. So that's pretty quick and seamless. So that doesn't take very long at all. Um, but I would say for local multiplayer, it's not crazy cool, but um, I do understand that people who play local multiplayer, you know, are going to be more chill and they're going to be fine with it. I didn't get to experience the online multiplayer, but I think it's pretty much going to be a lot like a single player experience, except if the person whose island you're on doesn't want you digging things up and has not marked you as a best friend, then you can't destroy anything, which is good. And I think that the resident of the town is the only one who can do digging of the land. The second person can put down pathways, um, but I think only the main person can dig, to my knowledge, what I've, what, from what I've heard and seen so far. Um, but yeah, that was my experience at PAX East. It was very, very cool. I want to thank um, PAX for allowing me to enjoy that experience, and I also want to thank Nintendo for setting up that booth. It was so beautifully decorated, and I got to meet Tom Nook which was the coolest thing ever. And I'm just very much so looking forward to this game. 
Uh, keep your eyes out on the channel. I'm working on a bunch of very random videos um, to go up during the next week or so. Also, if all the cards are right, I will get an Animal Crossing Switch, and I do plan to do an unboxing for that the day of release. So if any of you are curious what that looks like, and you want to see it up close and personal, I will absolutely upload a video of that on the day that I do receive it, if that does work out, if the cards are in my favor. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, subscribe. Matthias says hi too by knocking his toy around and um, come hang out with me on Twitch sometime and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.